Hey guys, it's Brock with E-Bike Generation. Um, we're here at the Baku um, headquarters here in Northern Utah. We're so excited to be here. Um, Brian here is gonna give us a rundown of the 2020 lineup. Awesome. Yeah, we're, we're so excited to have Brock here uh, for E-Bike Generation. We wanna go through our 2020 Mule. Uh, the Mule has been the number one selling fat tire electric hunting bike in the US for two and a half years now. One of the big reasons behind that is because of the motor. The Mule is built around Bafang's Ultra Mid-Drive Motor, which is widely recognized as the diesel engine of the Mid-Drive Motor class. It creates 160 newton meters of torque. It's built with all heavy duty metal gearing. It's built for off-road, rough, rugged terrain, built to last. Um, the Mule is uh, equipped with a long lasting lithium ion cell battery. It comes with a 14.5 amp hour battery, but you can upgrade to a 17 or to a 21. Guys will quite often ask us, well, why would I wanna to upgrade to a larger battery? Simply put, your battery is your gas tank. The bigger your battery, the further you're gonna be able to go. So at a 14.5 amp hour battery, a guy like me at 165 pounds, I get roughly 30 miles out of one of these batteries. If I jump up to a 17, then I'm gonna get roughly 37 or so miles out of a battery. If I jump up to a 21, then I'm gonna be up into the you know, 44, 45 mile range on a 21 amp hour battery. There is a little bit of a cost up front, but I can tell you once you do, you'll never regret that you did. Next, uh, the Mule is equipped with all high-end components. It's built with wide handlebars for a good base of support. It's got locking handle grips, has uh, dual piston hydraulic disc brakes, that great stopping power. It's built with an air suspension. Not everybody comes in the same package. We got some riders that are 250 and some that are 150. This allows you to be able to dial this bike in to the size of the rider as well as the terrain that you're riding in. If you're riding in rough, rugged terrain, then you want a lot of suspension. If you're riding on hard packed trails, then it allows you to, uh, then you can ride on a little stiffer suspension. Comes with Maxi's Minion tires, 203 millimeter front rotor and 180 millimeter rear rotor. The Mule comes standard with a pannier rack, comes with front and rear fenders, and comes with a 400 lumen headlight. Uh, it comes with a two amp charger. Guys will quite often ask us, how long does it take to charge a battery? Well, on a two amp charger, a 14.5 amp hour battery will take you somewhere between four and a half to five hours to charge um, on a 110 outlet in your home. Um, the, the Mule comes with a 40 tooth front chain ring and a 12 by 36 rear cassette. This gives you great top end speed in the, the 30 plus mile an hour range, but still has those low gears to be able to climb uh, like I mentioned a few minutes ago. Has wide stance pedals that have a big cleat on them that'll grab your boot. Has big holes in the pedals so that mud doesn't accumulate, snow doesn't accumulate on your pedals when you're riding. Uh, the stability of the mule on these four inch fat tires just gives you the ability to ride on sand, on snow, um, really just feels very stable to you. And I think is a big part of why the mule has been the number one selling hunting bike in the US equipped with a color LCD display, um, a walk assist mode. Sometimes you get into areas, and I know Brock and I have talked about this before, sometimes you get into an area where there's just so much deadfall that, and maybe you're pulling a trailer behind you, you can jump off the bike, you can put it into a walk assist mode, and you can walk it through the deadfall, jump back on it, and head down the trail. So, um, one thing that, that Brock and I were talking about is uh, the excitement that has been created by our, our new models that are coming out for 2020. Um, we've come out with a step-through model, and the step-through model takes this top tube and allows it to swoop down a little bit more. The standover height of the regular mule is about 29 inches, but if you get the step-through model with 26-inch wheels, it drops down to a 26 and a half inch standover height. So those riders that have a little bit shorter leg length now can stand over the top of our 26-inch tire step-through mule and feel um, feel a little bit more stable when they're standing over the bike. However, one of the, the bikes that we want to introduce you to that is brand new this year, and we've just recently received them, and, and Brock can tell you a little bit about it, but is our Mule Step Through with the 24 inch tires. Yeah, guys, this is going to be an awesome bike. Um, I love the Mule. I personally love the Mule, love the look, but we have had some customers that have come to us and said, you know what, it's, it's an awesome bike. It is a little bit bigger, you know, maybe for a guy my size. 
Um, but this new bike is just so awesome and it's gonna probably fit a lot of our customers really well, so. Yeah, so the, the, the neat thing about the 24 inch uh, step through mule is that the frame is actually a little bit smaller. In order to uh, fit with a 24 inch tire, the fork is a little bit smaller and the suspension is a little bit smaller. It comes, it comes in a little bit smaller package. The nice thing about it is it's exactly the same bike as the mule, but just in a smaller package. As you can see here, this top tube swoops down for a much smaller standover height. This bike is gonna fit riders that are anywhere from four foot 10 to about five foot six, five foot seven. They'll feel much more stable, a lot more comfortable on this bike. Um, comes with all of the components that the mule comes with from the, the pannier rack to the fenders to the light, the long lasting lithium ion batteries, the exact same motor, the pedals, the handlebars. It comes with everything that John and Brock and the guys at e-bike generation have have been selling in the mule, but now all of a sudden we have a bike to offer those those riders with a little bit shorter leg length. Yeah, um, I love both bikes. The one thing that I'm excited about um, is the color. We're getting some different colors. What colors are we getting, Brian? Yeah, so we've, we've had a lot of discussion about this and because this bike comes in a little smaller package, we have a lot of gals. This is really a popular bike um, for gals and guys with a shorter leg length. And, and so we decided to mix it up a little bit with some colors. As you can see, we've got a gloss white uh, um, bike that is in our step through model. We also have um, the desert tan, we have the matte blacks, and we're even doing some of our camo on them. So um, yeah, this is, this is that bike that, uh, that is really gonna bridge that gap and, and, and allow us to, to meet the needs of riders of all different sizes. So, so thanks Brian, I appreciate absolutely. you going over that with us. For sure, thanks for watching.